Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing conic section and this is a lecture number 4. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching this part 4. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the parabola. Uh, this is the second uh, variety of conic and in parabola, uh, what is the parabola and what is the definition? How can we derive the different form of equations that all we will discuss? So let us start this parabola. Parabola is what? Parabola. So parabola is a locus of a point. Definition would be like this. Parabola is a locus of a point. Is a conic. First let me define with the conic. Then I will come to back to the parabola. So conic is conic is the locus of a point locus of a point which moves in such a way which moves in such a way such a way that the ratio of the ratio of its distance distance from a fixed point, from a fixed point, a fixed point to the distance from a fixed straight line, from a fixed a straight line, from a fixed straight line, bears a constant ratio. Bears a constant ratio constant ratio the fixed point is called the fixed point is called the fixed point is called focus of conic focus of conic and the fixed state line fixed state line is called directrix directrix of conic of conic right the constant the constant is called eccentricity eccentricity of conic and is denoted by denoted by e denoted by e so if p be a variable point if p x1 y1 be a variable point variable point and s say a comma zero s h k let this h k be any fixed point any fixed point such that its distance such that that its distance its distance and that distance from a fixed straight line distance from a fixed straight line straight line x plus by plus c is equal to 0 bears a constant ratio constant ratio then ps by pm is equal to e where m is the foot of perpendicular foot of perpendicular 
from point P to the line, from point P x1 y1 to the line ax plus by plus c equal to 0, right? ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So, ps by pm is equal to e. Now, when e is equal to 0, e is equal to 0, the conic is called circle. Conic is called circle. When e is equal to 1, the conic is called parabola. Parabola. When e is less than 1, conic is called ellipse ellipse and when e is greater than 1 the conic is called hyperbola when e is greater than 1 then the conic is called conic is called hyperbola then the conic is called called hyperbola hyperbola right so whenever e is greater than 1 the conic is called hyperbola so for parabola like uh, if there is a point p here and the coordinate of point is x1 y1 right and s be any point here say s be any point then a x1 h comma k s h h comma k right and there is a line that is x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 this is the line right so line is equation of this line is x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 length of perpendicular from p e to m P to M is this one. That is length of perpendicular from P to M. So that will be like a length of perpendicular from P to M. This is M, and this distance is PS. So, PS is the distance. This distance is described as PS. So, PS upon PM is equal to E. This one is M. This one is S. This is P. Then, PS by PM is equal to E. For parabola, P is equal to 1. Right now, for parabola, we can have e is equal to 1, right? So, this is what for parabola p is equal to 1. Got it? So, for parabola, so this is for parabola, this will be h1. Let me write this. Okay. This is what? So, in parabola or parabola, since e is equal to 1 for parabola or for parabola or parabola, e is equal to 1 and therefore, p s is equal to p m. p s is equal to p m. Now, let us draw an equation for parabola, P s is equal to P m for parabola, right, this is what. Now, let us define parabola, parabola. So, parabola is the locus of a point. We can write here again, parabola is the locus of a point, locus of a point which moves in such a way which moves in such a way, such a way that 
its distance from a fixed point. Its distance from a fixed point. To the fixed state line. To the fixed state line. To the distance from a fixed point is equal to is equal to is equal to its distance from its distance from a fixed state line. Fixed a state line. The straight line, right? Let us consider a fixed point is like a fixed point is fixed point is therefore equation of parabola it, it is given by equation of parabola. Bola is given by given by PS is equal to PM. PS is equal to PM. This employee PS is nothing else but x1 minus h whole square plus y1 minus k whole square, isn't it? That is a square root of this is equal to PM is ax1 plus by1 plus c upon under root a square plus b square length of perpendicular from point to the line and therefore this will be x1 minus h whole square plus y1 minus k whole square is equal to a x1 plus b y1 plus c whole square divided by a square plus b square and that will be the required form of parabola that will be the required equation of parabola so after simplifying this will be the required equation of parabola standard form so a standard this is a standard equation of parabola this is the standard equation of the standard equation of parabola of parabola with focus h comma k and directrix directrix ax plus by plus c is equal to j right now we would like to derive parabola in simplest form which focus lie on x axis now a special case a special case is first when the focus of parabola lies on x axis lies on x axis when the focus of parabola lies on x axis so what will happen when focus of parabola lies on x axis so let a comma 0 be the focus of parabola and its vertex at origin origin right then what will happen in that case parabola what will be the equation in that case the equation of parabola will be like this okay this is x x dash y and y dash right this is. so parabola will be like this this is the equation of parabola parabola will be like this and focus is a comma g this is s now we have point p here that is x1 y1 right now so distance on each point from here p s must be equal to pm there is a directrix and directrix is like this this is the equation of directrix so every point on this parabola will have the distance right same as ps is equal to pm 
So if I would uh, draw a perpendicular from here and uh, this E to M, this will be like uh, that will be from this ES is equal to PM, right? So what will happen? Mm, every point on this locus is this. Locus means from here also this one at this distance is same as ES is this, isn't it? So here every point on this, not only this, but every point on this locus will have the same distance, ES is equal to PM. If I would take a point here, uh, this one, this is the point, then from here the distance is same, this distance and that distance will be also same, right now? And distance from here to this line will be also same. So every time if I took point here only, then also in that case the distance from this point to this line will be same. So every point on this line, even from P is here, then also the distance will be the same. So every time, since distance is same on each and every point, it means the if point is here and coordinate with this distance P S is also the same distance that is here. So this point must be at distance is same. So distance of this P to origin to this S is A. So this distance will be also A but it is an opposite side of origin so it will be coordinate will be minus a comma zero and since this line is parallel to y axis so equation of this line will be x is equal to minus a or x plus a is equal to zero so this is one directrix is x what is the directrix directrix in that case will be x plus a is equal to zero in that case this one is directrix right now and this one is called directrix. So directrix is nothing else. Directrix, this one is called directrix. This one is called vertex, right? So this point is called vertex. This point is called vertex. Vertex, right? Vertex. And this point is called focus. This point is called focus of one, right? So this point is called focus. So this one is said to be focus. So focus of point, right? Focus. So as per definition, this line is x plus a is equal to zero, p s is equal to p m. So using that, since p m is equal to p s, right? So p s is what length of perpendicular from point to the line. That will be x1 plus a upon under root 1 square plus 0 square because coefficient of y is 0. A, right? Coefficient of y is 0. That is pm. And ps is under root of x1 minus a whole square plus y1 minus 0 whole square. So, writing this, squaring both the sides. Now, squaring both the sides both the sides we have we get x1 plus a whole square is equal to x1 minus a whole square plus y square y1 square now if we simplify them what will happen x1 square plus 2a x1 plus a square plus x1 square minus 2ax that will be minus 2a x1 plus a1 a square plus y1 square now we can cancel them this one if we can cancel this a square a square x1 square x1 square and then what will happen y1 square is this 2ax will come this one this side and it will be 2x plus 2x that is 4x this employee y1 square is equal to 4a x1 and therefore locus of locus of p x1 y1 is y square that is 4ax this is the equation of parabola remember this this is the equation of parabola which focus lie on where which focus lie on x axis
this is the equation of this is the equation of parabola equation of parabola right okay now if a will be negative suppose then what will happen the another type of parabola is y square minus 4x that is if there is okay now this is y axis this one is x axis x dash and y dash so in this equation of parabola will be like this in that case if a is negative then parabola will be like this let me draw this freehand so that will be the parabola right parabola will be like this so this is the parabola here center is minus a comma zero this is called focus and directed should be lie opposite side of it that is x is equal to minus a so what will be that that will be x is equal to a so here this point will be a comma zero so this line will be x is equal to a and therefore directrix is x minus a is equal to zero this is the directrix i hope you got it so this is a x axis y axis isn't it y dash this is a line that is called directrix and line is also like this right so this is a directrix this parabola but uh, the equation of then the equation of parabola you can derive in the similar fashion parabola is y square is equal to minus 4 ax y square is equal to minus 4 ax a is positive so minus a would be negative right now then here focus is what is the focus what is directrix focus is minus a comma zero and directrix is directrix is what directrix is x minus a is equal to zero and this one is uh, vertex you know so the vertex is zero comma zero that is o right so vertex is zero comma zero so equation of parabola is y square is equal to 4ax that is uh, when it is given then it means focus is lying positive side of the x-axis and when y square is equal to minus 4x then focus lies on negative side of y-axis also there is another form of parabola when focus lies on y-axis then e equation of parabola is equation of parabola parabola is x square is equal to 4ay in that way the focus when power of x x is even then parabola is symmetrical about y axis this is x this is x dash this is y this is y dash and this was the parabola and parabola is lies like this this is the parabola this is the equation of parabola you know so this is y x square is equal to 4 y the equation of parabola is x square is equal to 4 a y and this is a focus so what is the coordinate a comma 0 comma a focus is this and the coordinate of this focus which lies 0 comma a and since focus is this is the vertex 0 0 is the vertex o is the point right and what will be that then directrix will be lie opposite side of it and hence the equation of this directrix will be y is equal to minus a. y is equal to minus a. opposite side of that distance will be same so if this is a this will be y is equal to minus a. y is equal to minus a or y plus a is equal to zero so this is a directrix so directrix is this focus is this you know and vertex is this so i hope you got it all these things here vertex is 0 comma 0 and focus is focus is nothing else but 0 comma a and directrix is directrix is what directrix is uh, y plus a is equal to 
to 0. Directed change nothing else but y plus a is equal to 0. So this is what? There is another term that is called lattice rectum. And what is that? It is a line segment which is perpendicular to the focus. So that we will discuss later on. If uh, the equation of parabola is now, if the equation of parabola, equation of parabola is x square minus 4ay, then this parabola will be vertically downward. Right now. So parabola in that case will be vertically downward. Equation of parabola in that case will be like this, right? So that will be let us draw this. So in this case, parabola will be vertically downward and vertex will be vertex of parabola will be a vertex of parabola is nothing else, vertex is uh, 0 0 and focus is focus of parabola is 0 comma minus a and directrix is directrix is y minus a is equal to 0. Lattice rectum. Now we have to deal with lattice rectum. What is lattice rectum? There is a word called lattice rectum. Let me write this in one Okay, so lattice rectum, lattice rectum, what is this? So lattice rectum is a line segment, write it, just, just, lattice rectum is a line segment, we can write definition as, lattice rectum is a line segment. Lattice rectum is a line segment segment of parabola perpendicular to focus perpendicular to focus and end points lie on parabola lie on parabola endpoints lie on parabola. So any line where y is equal to 4x, if I am writing this, here is this one will be lattice rectum. This is a lattice rectum. So I can draw this lattice rectum is like this. This is a line segment that is called lattice rectum which is a perpendicular to this focus. This is called lattice rectum. I hope you got it. So this is a lattice rectum this line is said to be lattice rectum. So here is a line perpendicular to the focus and that is called lattice rectum right now x square is equal to minus 4ay. Similarly y square is equal to 4x this is a lattice rectum this is L and L dash you say this is a perpendicular on focus so this will be a lattice rectum. Similarly uh, if I write here then lattice rectum will be a line which is perpendicular to the focus and therefore here is a line that will be perpendicular to focus that will be said to be lattice rectum. This line is will said to be lattice rectum. End points lie on parabola and therefore this lattice rectum. So L and L dash is a lattice rectum. This is L, this is L dash. What will be the equation? Because x is equal to minus a. Right now here equation of lattice rectum is x is equal to minus a. You can see but this is a perpendicular on focus. Similarly, what will be that here? Here lattice rectum is also perpendicular line and that perpendicular line is described as like uh, here is this lattice rectum. You know? So lattice rectum is nothing else but uh, perpendicular to the focus and lies on it. Perpendicular to the focus and end points lie on uh, vertex of parabola. So that will be a lattice rectum. You know, so this will be a lattice rectum. So this one is called lattice rectum. No? So this one is lattice rectum. This one, this line is called lattice rectum. Lattice rectum.
and what will be that equation because since it passes through a comma 0 so equation of lattice rectum is x is equal to a is the equation of lattice rectum is the equation of lattice rectum so what will be the point of intersection there will be two points say l and l dash is the point so we will solve them and we will find the point of intersection of lattice rectum to the parabola so equation of lattice rectum since equation of if y square is equal to 4x is the equation of parabola equation of parabola parabola then equation of lattice rectum equation of lattice rectum lattice rectum is x is equal to a so solving these two to get point of intersection on solving solving we we'll put x is equal to a so y square is equal to 4a and a is also x is also a 4a square so y square is equal to 4a square that is y is equal to plus 2a and therefore x is a and y is 2a x is a and 2a and a minus 2a that is denoted as l and l dash are two point of intersection on parabola two point of intersection of lattice rectum and parabola and therefore length of lattice rectum is therefore length of lattice rectum length of lattice rectum lattice rectum that is l l dash is equal to 2a plus 2a is equal to 4a so length of lattice rectum is 4a I remember this and this is very useful everywhere the length will be 4a whether it is a y square is equal to 4x or x square is equal to 4ay or x is equal to x square is equal to minus 4ay length cannot be negative so length is always 4a length of lattice rectum is 4a so i hope you got this basics one about the parabola please remember this revise this and keep in memory all these uh, prospect all these aspect and different types of parabola and we will discuss some questions in the next session. Till then, bye bye. God bless.